Okay, let's do the skeleton of the frog, and we'll start with the skull. The very first bone around the tip of his face is the premaxilla. The maxilla goes along each side of the jaw. If we go from the premaxilla back, this bone here is the nasal. It's very close to the opening called the external nares. Go from the nasal bone back and we get the frontal parietal bone. Frontal parietal bone, we see that there are two openings here. Those are the orbits. Okay. If we keep going back, we have part of the pectoral girdle with the front legs. This part that you see along the back is called the suprascapula. The suprascapula is connected to the scapula right here. And maybe you can allow me a quick refocus. If we go like this and focus it. Ah, now we can see the suprascapula, the scapula, and then the humerus. The humerus is then going to connect to the radial ulna. Those two bones are fused. Let's lay them down flat again and refocus. Okay, so let's do it again. Suprascapula, scapula, humerus, radial ulna. Now bones of the wrist are called the carpals. Bones of the hand, this part here, right? Uh, in your own hand, these are the metacarpals. Metacarpals. The fingers are the phalanges. Let's move down the animal and look at the lower half. So we have vertebrae that are coming along here. Notice that there are no ribs on frogs. That's just frogs. Salamanders uh, have ribs, but frogs do not. The last vertebrae here is the sacral vertebrae, and it connects to the urostyle, as well as parts of the pelvic bone. Okay, so this is all pelvic bone here. Eurostyle is right in the middle. Now we could pick either leg. Let's go this one. Okay, so from the pelvic bone, the first bone is a femur. The second bone here, it's been broken on this particular specimen. This is a fused bone of the tibiofibula. Then we have two bones in the, uh, you know, what we would call otherwise the foot. The one down at the bottom is the astragalus. The one here is the calcaneum. Then we have the tarsal bones, the metatarsals, and the phalanges. So the phalanges are all the last three bones here. The, again, the toes. So phalanges are fingers and toes. Carpals and metacarpals, excuse me, carpals, <laughs> metacarpals and metatarsals are uh, the bones of the hand and foot, kind of in the meat of the foot, if you will. The carpals are the wrist, the tarsals are the ankle, astragalus, calcaneum, tibiofibula, femur. Bones of the skeleton. I'm going to show you another frog just to give you a different orientation. Here is a frog stretched out. Okay, the bones are going to be the same, right? So we're still going to have the suprascapular, scapula, humerus, radial ulna, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges. Go down the vertebrae, sacral vertebrae, urostyle. This here is the pelvic bone, femur, tibiofibula. And now these bones get a little confusing because just imagine how they were oriented differently. So the outside here is the astragalus and then the calcaneum, okay, and then tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges. That's it. Good job.